from the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's going to be a frosty one by morning with temperatures in the low to mid 30s across the area. So dress warmly if you're heading on out for that pre dawn lunar eclipse. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. And as we look at the weather pattern across the lower 48, a relatively benign for most spots, some snow, some showers well to the north of us as you get into the high plains. And it's interesting to see some rain up by Montana before it's going to be chilling back down up here and then a snowstorm exiting the northeast putting down up to eight inches out on Long Island, but locally here it's been chilly a morning start in the mid 30s, but we warmed up nicely this afternoon into the mid 50s. Here are the high clouds we've been talking about. I think they may continue in spots through tomorrow morning, although I think they thin out as well, but all in all it looks good for that lunar eclipse tomorrow morning, which did not look good about a week ago, so that's the good news. We got something that changed for the positive for a change. 50 degrees right now. Dew points are pretty low, so temperatures are going to drop, drop nicely as we head into the nighttime hours as the winds diminish and we continue to see clear skies. So it's going to be a chilly one for tomorrow morning. So you're going to want to take care of the tender vegetation. Temperatures low to mid 30s this morning, officially 36 the low in Lafayette, but you can see near freezing northern portions of Acadiana. And I think we see much the same. Notice offshore that wind out there was pretty rough, but things settling down this afternoon as temperatures reach the 50. Now settling down upper 40s to lower 50s across the area. So here we go with our future cast through tomorrow morning. Again, some high clouds out there, but not really registering on the model. Temperatures in the mid 30s with nearly calm winds. That's why we think we're going to see frost out there. And then we get into the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon with some mid and high level clouds on the increase. Should be a pretty nice day and certainly milder, 10 degrees warmer than today. Then we get into Thursday, even warmer yet. Yeah, temperatures pushing 70 out ahead of this cool front that may produce a few showers late Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. But uh, after that, maybe some lingering clouds into Friday and this front backs up on us as we go into the weekend. We'll take a look at that weekend forecast in detail with the European model coming up tonight at 10. Tonight, though, mid 30s, so frosty certainly by morning. Tomorrow we get into the low to mid 60s. 50s tomorrow night, so 20 degrees warmer tomorrow night as compared to tonight. And then as we head into Thursday, temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. Now, as for the lunar eclipse, it's going to be interesting because, of course, we've gone through the blueness, the superness, and the bloodness of this moon. But as it's setting, the sky is going to be brightening up. Now, it goes into partial eclipse at 548 in the morning. It's total eclipse mode at 651, but sets nine minutes later. That means the tip of the moon will be just on the horizon. So you got to get an unobstructed view to the west. So you can see a long ways away to the west to see this lunar eclipse. And it's going to be interesting because the sky will be brightening as the moon is setting. And again, the sun rises at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that will make for some interesting photographic opportunities for sure and a rare view more than likely. So another fair and frosty one tonight with some of those high thin clouds out there and dress in layers for the eclipse, even though we won't have a wind. Still mid 30s is pretty chilly for us. And then tomorrow, a nice and milder day, some mid and high clouds moving in. Uh, they will be gradually increasing throughout the day. 65 year projected high with winds turning around out of the south tomorrow near 70 71 for Thursday slight rain chances here for Thursday and Friday not concerned with that but this weekend could be another dreary one lingering clouds after the morning showers on Sunday for Super Bowl Sunday and the Rio parade could be on the wet side still early in the game for the, the forecast that far out but I plan on some rain this weekend maybe we get lucky and most of the rain holds off until late Saturday night